What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Squelch Panda here, back at you with a G Fuel review. Today we're going to be reviewing the second of our horror icon series of G Fuel, which is going to be Dream Demon. This is from A Nightmare on Elm Street, also known as the movie with Freddy Krueger in it. Um, of course, there's Freddy Krueger's hand glove, and this is supposed to be, I believe, a tart fruit punch. And I'm not quite sure how that matches up. I've had the can of this um twice the first one didn't taste tart at all and the second one tasted tart completely so we're gonna see how this goes um hopefully it's a good flavor and uh yeah let's get into it like so like i said you've got the green and red uh freddy's sweater that he wears um and then that's his apparatus that he uses to uh people um which is his hand glove You've got the G Fuel logo right there, uh, Dream Demon down here with the Nightmare on Elm Street logo. You've got Energy, it's his glove, Focus is his fedora, Endurance is the uh, bed scene from the first movie, and then Reaction is the house that Nancy, who's the main character, uh, lives in. And of course, you get the sweater. You've got some slash marks on this side. With the GFU logo again, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and the Dream Demon. And then uh, Elm Street, fuel your, fuel your gaming, fitness, work, and lifestyle. And then, of course, G Fuel's uh, socials right there. And you've got the GFU logo on the top, and then the barcode on the bottom. Um, today, we're going to be using my little holiday Christmas one. I uh, gotta get in the holiday spirit. And uh, yeah, let's crack this bad boy open. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Right, so we'll start with the. Let's get all this little contents out. Do -do -do. All right. So to start it off. We've got the shaker cup, which again is the red and green of his sweater. You've got some slash marks right there um, with the Nightmare on Elm Street logo. And then we've got the G Fuel logo on this side. It's like a red light thing going on. It's really cool. Um, it says Freddy on the top of the cup. Uh, welcome home. Those aren't the best to see with the lighting. Um, don't fall asleep. Uh, never again. Piggy. I'm not quite sure that's what that says. And then like some little doodles here and there. Um, yeah, and of course the nice four screen top with the red topper with the little latch thing on the back. And come on, this one's on tight. And then we've got a green top part and of course the stainless steel inside. Um, so yeah, cool, cool shaker. Uh, I like how these kind of match the the box pretty well. Uh, I think most of the shakers that have come out with the boxes match. Um, the only one I'd be like kind of maybe on is the uh, Rasengan one, which isn't bad on it, but I like how the back said more of all the characters for Naruto. And then we've got the Nightmare on the Street sticker with the slashes and G Fuel and Warner, Warner Brothers and everything. It's really cool. And then finally, we have the tub, um, which of course has Freddy's glove on it, Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street, slashes across the logo, Dream Demon, um, same energy focus endurance reaction as the box, and uh, 40 servings, of course, with the sweater background. And uh, yeah, let's pop this bad boy on. I enjoyed the uh, 
most of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. They they did pretty good. It's definitely fits the horror icon uh, thing. I think I've seen more. I think I've seen more Nightmare on Elm Street movies than I have uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Um, of course, with Freddy vs. Jason being kind of either one. I guess that would be more of a Nightmare on Elm Street one. Because uh, it doesn't really focus on Jason as much. But yeah, all, for the most part, all pretty good movies. Um, definitely said definitely good horror. Uh, Alright, let's get this scooper out. It's pretty close to the top. Yeah, always, always unpack your scooper. This could have like three, four servings worth of powder in there. You don't want to do all that. Um, and then this cute little part of the top, it's like a little funnel. Um, we're not going to be using that. That is for whenever you want to throw in the water bottles. And I already have a little thing that I use for those. So we're just going to take this off and make it easier to scoop with the regular scoop. Right, we're going to get this, get all the rest of the little powder out of it. We're gonna get this all, get the tub shaken up so the pair is all nice and loosened. Does a better job of being able to taste it after that. We'll take the lid off and give us a nice, good scoop. Now, because this is a tart one, I'm gonna do a little bit under the top. And then if we need some, we can always add more. You can always add more, you can't really ever add less. I'm going to set that there for the moment. Just kind of put the lid on top in case there's any water residue from the condensation. Give it a good spin. I kind of wonder if they're going to come out with a scream flavor. I think that would be really cool. We've got Mammoth Elm Street, we've got Friday 13th, we've got a uh, child's place slash took. So I wonder if they will come out with the screen one. I think that would be really cool. Of course, they have to get the uh, licensing for it and everything, but that would be a pretty fun little flavor. I wonder what it would be called. We've got Hack and Slash, um, which yeah, kind of fits Jason, but um. I don't know. Like, uh, like stabby something. Or... I don't know. Could be fun. Of course, we gotta wait until they have that, but who knows? Hopefully, they can get the uh, legal rights to that. Alright, so let's get a smell of the tub. <coughs> Ooh. Smells warm. Um,. Has that like a seasonal potpourri uh, baked cookie smell to it? Like just what I imagine like Christmas smells like, which I mean this is a more hoary Halloweenish flavor, but. I don't know. It smells like nice warm like uh, cookies or something. Like you're baking something. Alright, let's give the tub a smell. Alright, it smells more uh, more fruity. Not as uh, deep. It's definitely smell like a uh, a little bit of sourness to it. It's almost like a cherry in a way, like a cherry or like pomegranate maybe, kind of lean towards pomegranate. All right, let's give this a sip. We're going to add 
a little bit more. So a little bit more powder to it. Because I mean, it kind of tastes like a fruit punch, but I'm not really getting much flavor. It's more just kind of there. So yeah, we're going to put the lid on and give us another good little shake. Give this one a shot. Okay, that hits tart better. Definitely fruit, fruit punchy. Alright, all right. kind of makes me think of the, like, uh, those Welch's, uh, popsicles, but, like, the, the one where, I don't know if y'all had these as a kid, like I did, but, like, the top is this way, but the bottom of it's this way, and you kind of, like, push it up, um, <coughs> probably school lunches and stuff, kind of like the, kind of tastes like the cherry one of that. I like the uh, like off-brand cherry popsicles, where it's kind of got that tang, tangy fruitness to it. Um, doesn't taste necessarily fresh. Kind of tastes a little bit artificial. But I would say it fits what it's trying to do. I mean, it's not a sour fruit punch. It's not a regular fruit punch. It does kind of fit tart. I would say. Um. Of course, the sour red fruit punch is the future sense, which is the Miguel O'Hara flavor from the Spider-Man movies, and then regular fruit punch. I don't know if that would be hack and slash. I don't think it would, because because fruit punch is red as far as G Fuel flavor, because they have a fruit punch flavor. But I don't know if they like revamp that or what. But uh, you know, it'd be more like that, where it's kind of just refreshing and smooth this does kind of fit tart fruit punch um i wouldn't say it's one of my better liking flavors i'd say it's good it does have some ref refreshingness to it but <coughs> definitely leans more on the like artificially syrup side um but not by too much not enough to where it's like annoying you just kind of you can kind of tell so yeah i'm gonna i probably it's like a uh kind of like a 6.8 it's it's good i definitely think there's like similar flavors that would be better um but as far as collector wise or if you like fruit punch or maybe like tart flavors, I'd say get it. Um, even just the tub, like even don't even have to have the box, just the tub looks good. Um, especially if you like Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, and all that, I think you, I think you enjoy it. Good, uh, yeah, good, good flavor. Six, six point eight. Um, nothing too crazy to write home about, but it does what it's meant to do, and I, I support that. Um, yeah, so thank you kind of for the video. Um, hopefully I've got two G Fuel orders that are still supposed to be coming, which is the Naranjita, which is the Cyberpunk, like, DLC one, um, and then the last of the horror icons that are currently available, which is the Chucky Child's Play one, and I believe it's supposed to be coming out in January. Um, I thought this one was supposed to be coming out in January, but as soon as I was close to the end of December and the holidays and all that, it probably will come in in uh, in January. So well, let's let's look forward to that and uh, have a good old time and get these trifecta for icons out of the way. But yeah, thank you for the video. Um, I very much appreciate it. Likes, comments, and subscribes are always appreciated. Even just views are appreciated for me. Um, if you like this type of content and you like G Fuel, 
and maybe want to try to win yourself some. Uh, I do share other content creators and people's giveaways on Twitter, um, which should have the same name as me. If I remember how to do it correctly, I'll put it in the description. Um, and then you can go over there, and if you want to follow me there, that's cool. And if not, I share other people's giveaways and everything, and maybe you can try to win you some. Um, but overall, thank you for coming out the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully, one of those two flavors will be in soon, and if not, I'll see you then. But at the end of the video, and have a good day.